Okay, chill. Okay, chill. Okay, chill. Oh, whoa. We can't talk about that. Not here. Not here. Well, we have uh, all the way from West Oz, Jay Davies joining us on Cote's Cube. How you doing, brother? Hey, good. Thanks for having me. Well, this is a this is a pretty big deal that you actually came in here. You survived your first ever Newport Beach Fourth of July, so uh, you deserve accolades for that. Now, uh, let's just get right into that because, you know, I, I I wasn't there. You know, I was on the beach here with my kid. Boring compared to the shenanigans you guys probably got into. Tell us a little bit about uh, Fourth of July in Newport Beach. Well, uh, Rusty threw down like probably one of the best parties I've ever seen in uh, Newport. Well, it was the first one I've ever seen in Newport. Uh, Fourth of July is crazy, as you probably know already. Uh, there was f- so many girls. I've never seen so many girls in one spot at one time. And, uh, yeah, there was some shenanigans going down for sure. The rusty place went crazy. <laughs> so, and then you guys had to, basically the last three days, you've had to lock the door shut down the windows nobody else can come over yeah well it was pretty much the party was done at about 12 30 last, the on the 4th of july and uh yeah we didn't bother locking the door and there was just like random chicks walking in going hey still party going on here and we're like no nah, sorry you gotta leave this house is done shut down for the night and yeah, it's been ever like that ever since. So uh, the Rusty House is definitely on the on the map now. Yeah, the Rusty House is on the map. It's closed for the next couple of days. You'll probably we reopen it in a week or so when yeah. the when the dust next settles. Weekend. Next weekend's open again. Ah, <sighs> to be a young Australian pro surfer in Newport Beach. Well, speaking of that, you're uh, you're back. You were out of the water for about four months, right? And uh, you, this injury you sustained during your your trip to Indo. Um, tell us about the recovery time. We'll get into the serious stuff let's let's get that out of the way uh well yeah i fractured uh my right foot and uh had surgery on my left ankle so it was horrible i uh got on a wheelchair on the way home and couldn't walk and uh it, it's been f- four and a half months now and uh yeah it's been hard uh long road to getting back but uh things are getting back to normal and uh yeah, surgery was hard. Uh, I was in a full boot for two months, and uh, things, yeah, it's just coming back to normal now. So, yeah, it's good to be back. It's kind of crazy. Like, uh, you know, airs to me are, are pretty much one of the things that you get injured, you know, the most doing, whether it's like a one foot wave or, you know, you guys are surfing Indo trying some pretty crazy shit on big waves. Like, what are the dangers of, uh, I guess, trying new airs and stuff like that? Uh, it's just not knowing, like, where you're going to land on the wave. It's like, you can do the basic air reverse and still hurt yourself, but you, it's just going for that next big thing. And uh, if you land wrong, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna come unstuck or you're gonna go through the board and break your feet. So <laughs> and that's what happened to me. <laughs> you're a pretty big guy. I'm sure you go through a lot of boards these days. Yeah, of course. It's um, yeah, that's my biggest problem. You get a magic board and it breaks like within two surfs because yeah, you you're having so much fun on it you just go through them straight away now let's uh, let's talk about this board right here this is uh, one of your brand new sticks so this is a uh, I, I used to see you riding um a lot of those like dwart kind of little fish type of boards but hey this is more like a your your basic so looking short board uh, yeah, are you getting back to the basics riding these things more often yeah yeah of course i always love just a normal short board um i just kind of started like riding the dwart and stuff and, and just having fun it was like a new little like adventure for you but um yeah just a normal shortboard 6.3 um rusty shape uh yeah it's pretty it's pretty sweet oh I'm nice yet, but, uh, <laughs> you stickers all the stickers are goes, placed hopefully it goes well so tell me about what you're living in the rusty house for the for the whole summer right yeah for the whole summer till uh till i go to europe and uh, then hopefully I'll come back and hang out until uh, till Hawaii. Yeah. So you got you know U.S. Open a whole. It's it's a big it's a big summer coming up. Um, yeah, cool. Tell me about like uh, you know living in a house I guess that's now going to be infamous for the rest of the summer. How do you like maintain and make sure you surf enough? Make sure that you have like food in the fridge. How do you yeah. live like normal day to day life and still living in like a fraternity house? Well, you kind of just got to be smart about it. I mean, there's 
it's summertime for you guys, so you're like losing it. But I've just come out of summer, so I kind of got to pull the pull the cord sometimes and uh, just kind of relax and get up every early and stretch and surf and still do the things that I should be doing at home. So I'm just going to treat it like a home and. It's going to be fine at some times, at some stages, but it's still work while I'm here. So you got to work, you got to regulate every once in a while, but you got to have a good time. Um, as we all know, Newport Beach, uh, there's a couple good-looking girls there. Um, in your in your world travels, how do you think Newport Beach rates amongst the, um, I guess, the the girls of the earth? Uh, it's probably one of the best places on earth for sure. That's... One of the best places on earth. God, I want to be you for the summer. I want to be you for the summer. Jesus. I think a lot of people wouldn't mind, too. <laughs> well, uh, Jay, you know, we're going to be tracking you. We're going to be watching you all summer long. Hopefully, we're going to see this get a lot of use, and um, then the rig is going to get a lot of use. Ladies of Newport, he's a nice guy, so, you know, treat him good. Jay Davies, Cote's Cube. Um, we're going to do a part two and three with Jay as the summer progresses. So uh, you use your memory banks, and you're going to be filling us in on a lot of stuff, all right? Yeah, we'll do it. Thanks, Cote. And we do have photos from that party down down there below on this website, transwoodsurf.com. Yes! Jay.